Yo, how's it going, guys? It's your boy James here, and today we're going to do something a little different today. While many of y'all are already familiar with Minecraft, there are new players all the time. You can thank PewDiePie for raising public interest. And even for experienced players, it can be a complex game sometimes. Over the years, I've become quite good at it. So today, I'm going to show y'all how to play Minecraft. And how to not let that happen. Alright, so you downloaded Minecraft. That's pretty cool. So, we're going to play single player, create a new world, and we're going to give a name. Now, you can name yours whatever you like, but I'm going to call this one How to Play Minecraft. This, that's what I'm going to show you what to do today. Now, let's give it a seat. You can write stuff here, and then it will generate into a code, which will determine how your world will be designed. So now that that's taken care of, let's create the new world. And... Brilliant! Welcome to your first Minecraft world. So, if you look under options, you can see that there is a peaceful saying y'all can use. But we need some exposure to all of the things that can happen in this game. So let's get said nice and easy. Now that this is on easy, we go whoopsie daisy. Shut up, said James. It's not funny. Now, the foundation of every successful Minecraft world is getting wood. So let's cut down this tree right here with our apparently really strong fist. Up down the tree, don't be afraid. Okay, don't worry about that. Let's just collect wood so we can make a crafting table. That's not supposed to happen. Now that we eat enough wood, we go and press E for inventory, transform these wood into planks. Then you take the planks, make them into a square like this, and you all get a crafting table. Unlike the provide crafting space in your inventory, which is two by two, the crafting table has a three by three space in which you can create many different things. The next things I recommend y'all make are the wooden pickaxe and the wooden sword. You will use the sword to defend yourself and to attack. Right now, y'all need wool, so you're going to find some ship. And once you find the ship, left click on the wooden sword to kill these poor, innocent, friendly ship. I'm sorry, ship, y'all. I need your wool to make a bed so you're all going to, eat to die, die, die. Now we're going, oh, yeah. going back to the crafting table and take our three wool and arrange it like this. And we take the planks and place them under the wool like this. And that will create a Where's the bed? Is the computer lagging? No? Hold on. You missed your cue. Why are you late? The bed was supposed to be on screen. The viewers are waiting. Wait. Wool has to be in consistent colors starting in 1.12? Oh. We need a sacrifice. The reason why beds are useful in this game, besides, of course, 
It will also reset the night train. Okay, editing team, very funny. It will also reset your spawn point. And what that means is that if you did, you will respawn right next to it. So you won't have to walk all the way from your original spawn. Plus, y'all can skip through the night. So if you don't like to be in situations like this one. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Then try using the bed. This sounds like an advertisement, not a funny tutorial. Shut up. I like it. No, it's not funny. Are you stupid? You know what? You're nothing but a Oh, that does it. You don't speak to Triple J that way. You little Why oh, tell you heck? Oh, oh your dear. Like your video, your video, your kids, 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 all right, I've made for us a safe place to live in. We can now survive the first night. Notice how I said specifically the first night. Don't get used to it. The nights after that are going to be filled with death, destruction, horror, and terror. We must stand up and fight at any minute we could fall, be shot, raided, or blown to smithereens. But for now, we have all of our necessities in this house I built, and we'll stay in it until... Too early, Michael Bay. I placed the bed and crafting table inside, and we're going to make a chest so we can store all of our valuables inside. And we'll talk about this a little bit later. Now I go and be a sleepy boy. So, daytime is upon us, so we go to the next tip. We need our wooden pickaxe from earlier because we go mining today. Aw, oh, dang it, it broke. No, not lightning rod at Dollywood, the pickaxe. But you're not wrong. Although this shows us something. You saw that the wooden pickaxe is slow. Getting rid of it as soon as you can is a good idea. Three blocks of cobblestone is actually enough. We'll be back before Andy gets home. Here's what y'all should make next. This is amazing, guys. Y'all should see this. If you make the pickaxe recipe that I showed you earlier, except you replace the planks with cobblestone, y'all will get a stone pickaxe. Get the point. Back to the mine. All right, listen up. Many people like to use torches to light up the cavern, but we like to think differently in my style of Minecraft. Lighting up the cave is for the weak. It takes all the fun away and all the tension. No monsters spawn, and then you don't get the XP. Well, I am not a pussy. So we go no bring not torches, or we go mine. What the? I died. Triple J is no more. So, I just made a full set of stone tools, and we had things to do with them very soon. But if you look down here, you may have noticed that this bar is a little low right now. That is our hunger bar, as represented by these CHICKEN STRIPS! Actually, are those chicken strips? The flying CHICKEN STRIPS! Was ready to go. To West Fort! I think those are more like... 640 chicken wings from KFC. Yeah, they definitely look more like chicken wings, so... I CHOOSE THE CHICKEN WINGS! Wait, you're telling me they're drumsticks? Do I come into your house and fact check your speech? But enough fooling around. Let's focus on getting food. And I know exactly where to find it. Nearby, a village exists where we can go and raid.
Um, excuse me, that is my job. I mean, we can go and run naked. This is illegal, you know. I mean, we can do some training, look at the architecture, and then borrow their crops and never give them back. This is Shut illegal, up. you know. All right, here is the village. It is a wonderful village. We need a name for the village. Nice choice of words, people. Tell me in the comments down below. We gonna take some of their crops so we can eat. Wait a minute. What did you see? Don't be funny. Wait a minute. We got mutton from the sheep we just killed. Why didn't I think about that before? Well, let's throw that in the furnace so it can cook. Whoa! Cool story, bruh. <laughs> now that we have our hunger bar full, we go mining again. This time, for iron! We need to dig a little deeper for this. Quite literally. Here's a good suggestion I suggest y'all should try. Always, always dig straight down. It is the most effective way to go down to deeper layers. Just watch. See? It works! Iron looked like this, so let's mine with our stone pickaxe. But first, let me get these gosh darn skellies out and zombies out of it. Stop! Why are you shooting me? It seems like they're fighting each other actually. That's that's pretty cool. But then I must kill the winner. There we go. There we go, we got some iron, it is a very useful tool, and we also need coal, because it's a better fuel than wood. Um, how do I get back up there? When in doubt, always, always dig straight up is the most effective way to reach the surface because you'll save durability on your pickaxe. Just watch. Oh no. Oh no. Lava. I don't know what to do. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 it's coming. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Help! No! Roasted. Okay, we finally got iron, coal, and came back alive. One coal is enough to smelt eight iron ore into ingots. Wonderful. With this iron, we gon' do many things. Do you guys think we can make a pickaxe out of iron? Let's see. You can! You can also make armor out of iron. There are four types of armor you can wear. They can reduce the damage you get from the baddies when they kick your butt. Now, there is leather armor you can wear, and you get leather by killing the gnomes. But I don't recommend it, as it's not good. Leather armor is for noobs! Alright, we're making good progress. 
going to build a bigger house now. Perfect. I'm going to place the door here, but I'm going to have it open so I don't have to worry about closing it every time I go out. Also, I made sure that the windows let in plenty of light so there's no need for torches. Again, we like to think a little differently in my style of playing Minecraft. So, I showed you guys how to be good miners, but for next task, we're going to be farmers. We need a good supply of food, so our first step is to punch some grass using your left mouse button. Yeah, you heard me right. Punch grass. You punch grass like this. Now we have plenty of seeds to grow crops. Next, we need to make. Don't laugh. A hole? Oh yes, she does very good work. Let's choose a nice flat plot of land and right click on the prostit- I mean, hole. You can tell that my writing team had a lot of fun at this part. Hmm. Okay. Let me hoe it again. Okay, editor, you're 18, not 12. Take that off. Thanks. What the freaking heck for 20? Let's do it again. What the? Well, okay then, 800, we need to do this. And quickly. Come on. Come on. Why does this keep happening? All right, I have a plan. Old McDiesel had a plan. <laughs> With a pinch, pinch here and a pinch, pinch there. Here a pinch, there a pinch. <laughs> I cracked myself up. We'll put the seeds in my offhand and see how that works out. Great! Now I can plant the seeds before the dirt comes. Perfect! Now we have a nice farm to grow wheat, which is necessary for many things, mainly for food. So, now that we have more combat gear, like this sword and armor, it's time to get into one of the scary parts of the game. The monsters! Wrong music! That's good. We have to be careful at night when the baddies come. But don't worry, we're on the easy mode. Remember? Alright, so it is nighttime now, so let's look out for. Oh no! Look, the baddies are here. It is a very scary night. Now, the first thing you must know what to do when surviving night with the monster is to panic! Oh no! Is that a zombie? They eat your flesh. Is that a skelly? They shoot arrows at your face. Is that an enderman? They teleport to you. Oh no, what else could be around? Is that a phantom? They come down and bite you when you don't sleep. Is that a ravager? They look like bulls. Is that a pillager? They will ax you in half! Holy crap! Run! So why do this? You may ask. Well, when we fight the monsters and they did, They drop very valuable goods. The skellies drop arrows which we could use if we have a bow, which is very useful for attacking mobs from far away. And having a bow is very fun because you can go and
Don't mess with me. Skellies can also drop their bones, which you can use to make ball meal, which is very useful for farming. Or if you're a pussy, you can make your own with your spare seeds in the composter. But this is supposed to be the hostile mob section, so I'm gonna focus. The spade does drop the string. So you can use that to make a bow if you have at least three of them. The zombies drop rotten flesh, potatoes, and carrots, which are two food sources that we could use later and grow in our farms, and one food source that is completely and utterly useless. This is everyone's favorite mob, the creeper. The creepers drop the gunpowder. The endermen drop ender pearls from the end of far away land. They're not as aggressive as some of the other mobs, but be careful. You don't want to see them angry. The witches drop all sorts of things, mostly related to potions. And the phantoms, well, they don't have anything important. They exist just to be a pain in the ass animal. God dang it, I'm gonna kick your ass with the power of my stand. Propane nightmare. <laughs> Y'all hate these stupid creepers. Don't worry, I know exactly how to deal with this. At least, I thought I knew. Alright, we did some good fighting during the night. Let's go back to home base to put our items in the chest. Alright, it took a long time, but I finally made a new house for us cool people. Let me show you around. This is the main hallway with some armor stands, and that's soon going to be the enchantment room. Right over here is like this furnace room with regular furnaces, smokers, and blast furnaces. Here's the bedroom. And right here we have a pool, and we have a storage room right here for all the things. And going up right here, I have farms. Yes, this is going to be a very green roof. And a tree right here. Our goal is 20 million with some more construction on the house uh, going on right here. Also, there are some new safety features. The zombies, you see, can break down doors, but can't break down fence gates. Logic. So, I put a fence gate here, as you can see, so uh, they can't get in, boom, you're all trapped, and I'm safe, ha ha, nye, nye, nye. Wow, he thinks he's so smart, nah, he's stupid, he has good loot, we'll get him later, you have the arrows, right, of course, so, but, it's gonna be great. Ah hill 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 Okay, so yesterday I worked on building a new house all day. So for a change of pace, we're going to take a peaceful trip. Are you sure about that? To do some exploring. But it's a little far for to walk. So we gonna take a horse. That's right. I'm gonna take my horse to the old town. Get to the point! To tame horse, use an empty hand and hop on. Then a couple of times, the horse is going to tell you to go away. 
but you do this a couple of times, and eventually... Best friends forever! Best friends forever! Ring! Alright, horse, let's go! I said, let's go! Alright then, I guess he doesn't want to go. What should we call the horse? Tell me in the comments section down below. Hey, horsey horse, I know there are cookies I can show you. Gosh darn, he's good. Did you just say good kiss? Ah! Ah! I was kidding! Ah! Try riding the horse with the right equipment later. But for now, I'm going to mine some more. Oh no, it's one of these again. I don't like these stupid creepers, man. Always behind your back, exploding when you least expect, destroying your crib, make you fall. You this. Don't worry. I have a plan for these haters. The plan is simple. I fly to the moon. I shrink the moon. I grab the moon. I sit on the toilet with what? When you spot a creeper, they don't have any arrows, and your sword explodes into smithereens earlier. Take some blocks, which is guaranteed to be in supply if you go mining. I mean. I have more cobblestone in my other worlds than I know what to do within 7 lifetimes. So if you don't have any cobblestone by now, you're dummy. Hey, that's not nice. So you take some blocks, any kind, and you place them in your hotbar. Then you do a Donald Trump, and you simply just build a wall. We're going to build a wall. It's going to be built. Now they can't get no tail, as long as the wall is at least two blocks tall. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to reaction time. I think your control and V keys are stuck. Checkmate, creepers. Oh, you think you're so smart. All right, I am now safe on this sledge. Uh, looking down on these scrubs below. Ha, huh, I'm above all of you. See, perfectly safe. Laughs in skeleton. Well, good morning, Mr. Skelly. How are you today? I'm trying to say, how are you today? Why are you shooting me? I did nothing wrong to you. What's the problem? The skellies can be just as annoying as the creepers, my friends. I have another special plan for them. First, we mine. Okay, so many people who looked at part 1 told me that a light source is needed in the caves for safety, so I dick less. And also, you guys suggested that I use lanterns, because word has it that they work better than litouch. At long last, I have found it. Here it is, the skelly spawn. No, this isn't the part where you attack. Now, if I'm correct, the saddle! Yes! We can use this for the hots! Oh, oh no. I'm gonna die. Alright, here is my special plan for the skellies. You put some blocks in your hotbar, then you do a Donald Trump, and simply build a wall. Let's build a wall. Build a wall. 
Now they cannot shoot me. Checkmate, skellies. Now we need to make an ambush. Are you ready? Hi, yo, he. Yo, here's what we should do. Mine, mine. Yes. Now they can't spawn anymore. Oh, die, 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 die. Oh, come on. Well, moving right along. So in the last part, I asked you guys what to name the village. And you guys suggested, go away, Phil. We're going to do some business here very soon. But now, I'm very tired. You may not rest now, there are monsters nearby. Well, okay then. I'm gonna grab some supplies. Where are the monsters? And James Shewin was never heard of again. Ever. Cause I killed him! Can y'all please go? Either go, de, surrender, or just be a god guy. I can't make no music videos, or play any main career, or roller coaster do do if I did. Y'all, you guys don't. That'd be great. I need sleep so I can make videos and do my work at Evry University. I am literally writing an essay as I record the audio for this video. Well, at least I don't have to attend any more lectures. <laughs> and apparently I have a bad omen. Whatever, I'm sure it's just silly superstition. So, I read many of you guys' comments throughout the week. What you guys told me to do is to name the horse Joe. Who's Joe, you might be asking? My horse. Were you not paying attention the last five seconds? And I used the name tag I found in the dungeon where I ambushed the skellies. Oh, really? And another one of you guys' suggestions is to put water in farm. To which I say, what a wonderful idea. Why didn't I think of that? So here's what I go and do. I go and... Ah! I go into our chest and steal. This is illegal. All right, I heard enough of you already, smarty pants. You go and take roughly three iron and get Then place it on the crafting table like this. And that will create the bucket. This is a bucket. Dear God. There's more. No. Then we go to the river. Well, this is going splendidly. Well, since my crops failed, and I'm too nice to kill the cows. JK, I need my bees! Cheerker, so cooker be more! Now, die, 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 No, I meant make the cows die, not me. But after killing the cows, there's another thing we must do. I put my saddle on my horse, untie him from the pole. I'll put this away for now. And we go! Here it is, the shipwreck. It has many valuable goods, some of which we can use to trade with the villagers in Go Wayfield. Like over here. But you have to be careful, or else you might fall for... Oh well, I could just swim up. 
I can't swim up. Well, let me see what I can do. Oh dear. Help! Don you all to heck! This creature, ladies and gentlemen, is a drowned. They are basically water sheep, water zombies that can appear anywhere in the sea, especially in generated structures like this one. And they will kill you. They come from zombies who have drowned. But James, your lifeguard, you have legal obligation to act when someone drowning. Considering that zombies turn into drowns when they submerge in water, you have failed to fulfill obligation for your position. I'll have discussion with Fluffy Bridge Pools Incorporated about this. Ah! Talking horse! Ah! Help! Why are you running away from me? I'm right. Every time. Run! Talking horse! Quick! Wow, everything actually looks nice down here. Let me show you around, dudes. So, as you can see, there are lots of plant life on here in the city. Like a lot of top, which is actually very useful for a lot of the leaks. And there are actual fish under the city. But the world of it is a fish dolphin. The dolphin will give you a speed boost. That is very kind of him. Remember in the last part when I said, And we also need coal because it's a better fuel than wood. Guess what? Kelp as a fuel is even better than coal. I'll show you. So you take the kelp from the sea and you fry it up. Then when that's done, you put it into black form exactly like this. And that can smell 20 blocks in one block. Whereas coal or charcoal can only smell eight. Pop, 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 pop. Roasted. Alright, it's been a while since they've been to Go Awayville, so let's go to Go Awayville to do some trading. For real this time! Huh? What's this? Wait, is time? Quick! Barricade the wall! Quick! Oh no! A raid is coming! What are we gonna do? Don't worry, I know exactly how to deal with this. Basically, to defend the village from the raid, you take some blocks. This sounds familiar. You put the blocks in your hotbar. Then you do a Donald Trump and you build a wall. That's the third time in the series that you wrote that. Are you guys serious? But it's funny. And it worked flawlessly the last time you did a raid. What are you talking about? I never triggered a raid in my entire well, life. Well, just build a wall. No one's going to think you're a Republican. I promise. Okay, then. But if I see that joke again, someone's going to get fired. You can't fire us. We don't even exist. Our dialogue is recorded by your voice with the camera showing a closed door to make the illusion that there are separate people who work for you for a YouTube channel to create a comedic effect. But in reality, you're doing all of our work and we only exist in the form of ideas. And you can forget about earning that raise that I promised no, to give you. please. I'm sorry. I'm a single parent with three children and every Sunday to pay our rent for our apartment in Westport! Then move to Townsville City. No! Now they can't get us. Checkmate, Raiders. Sounds like the horn is coming from over there. They always 
announce that they're coming. Which is a bad battle strategy if you ask me. Here they are, I see them. Trying to get into the wall. But they cannot. These are the faces of evil. You must conquer each. This is illegal, you know. Did they die by falling off? BOOM! I don't like that they spawned in the cliff. Oh no, I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna fall. But not before he falls. Ha! Huh? They're all over here. Two remain. Okay. But this is the first wave of the three. There are more. I'm going to kill you. Good. Now, I need to get in. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. I need to get in. Help me. Help, help, help. I'm stuck. Grab some dirt. I thought that was a raider. That was a cow. Here you are. Okay. You want to play tough with me? I'll play tough with you. I'm going to eat. I kill you. Where are the others? Are villagers dead or are they just hiding? I think they're hiding. They're smart. Sometimes it feels like we're moving in a circle Around and around with the same scenery going by But no one's complaining Yeah, I see a villager there. Okay, we need at least one villager alive in order to win the raid But we don't want any of them dead. Not at all. Here you are. You're, you want to get in so badly, don't you? There you go. Again. I'll wait for it to regenerate. That's good. And if you use one of their crossbows, which I don't have yet. But if you use their crossbow to, like, kill the captain with the big banner you get achievement called who's the pilgrim now baby i'll get one in the next wave and this is the scariest wave of the three the scariest one do you know why oh yeah there's the bell it rings when the raid has come do you know why this is the scariest wave of the three they bring a ball <laughs> oh no it's a ball Oh god! The ball! There's a great big ball coming! <laughs> However, this is the last wave, at least if you're on easy mode, like we were earlier. Remember? I told you this already. The ball! The ball does a frick ton of damage! <gasps> Daisy was right! Oh god, I, I'm dying! Save me! The bullet's going to kill me! But not before I kill it. Okay. It has like 50 health or something. Or 100, I don't know. It, it's a big number. It's, yeah. I can't even know good. Ah, there you go. Almost done. Two rays of mink. One more mink. And good timing too. It's almost dark time. Dark time. It's night time. Yes, we did it. We done it. We finished the raid. Yes, fireworks. Woo I love the fireworks. Yay! And also, word has it that they give you gifts. That's very nice of them. The villagers off for lead discounts. So this is a perfect time to show you guys something. Here's a loophole in the system. You go to the village farms and you proceed to take absolutely everything. <coughs> take all the wheat, seeds, carrots, potatoes. Make sure there's nothing 
left except things that are bolted to the ground. Take everything, yes, everything. Any questions, did I stutter? Take whatever booty you can find. Remember, the beast is mine! Sorry, wrong script. Then you go to the farmer villager, and you proceed to give him all the crops you just stole from him for emeralds. So I was going to check out a book from the librarian here, but he decided to give me the book for free. Thank you, Mr. Librarian. It was an honor to defeat the raid for- Oh, he gave me another one! You are such a kind man. I wish you many years of great prosperity. You know, I can't believe that we fought off that raid with just iron-based tools. That means we can only imagine what we could do with a higher power. And that's exactly what we're going to find, my friends. There's a material that can break any material except for the indestructible ones. And you'll have armor that will protect you to the fullest. And its sword will make the raiders terrified of you. This is a material, pressurized coal, one of the world's hardest materials. Besides my dick where my crush sends nudes. Alright, which one of you put that in the script? Shut up, James. It's very funny. The material is... Diamonds. It is, indeed, the most honored material in the game. Do you want to find some? Well, it will be quite a challenge. But we will go look, and it will be fun. Diamonds can only be found in the deepest and darkest layers of the underground. But to get there, just dig straight down. Okay, there are a few disadvantages, but usually it's worth it, trust me. Over here, we have plenty of room to store the things we find while mining. The best place to find diamonds is at y equals 11. We are now at y equals... Oh no, because as you can see, I pressed F3. Look at this. But yet, it's not showing me the coordinates. It's turning up the volume. And F2 is to turn down the volume. But we're focusing on F3 here. Like, seriously, that's not how Minecraft's supposed to work. Why can't I access the coordinates? My first laptop could access the course, and it was a piece of junk, so there's no excuse for this gaming specialized laptop to not have the coordinates. Who at Dell thought this was a good idea to have F3 only be able to up the volume and nothing else? You know what? There has to be something I can do about this. Hold on. So I've been using your gaming laptop, and I really like it so far, the, but there is one serious problem, and that is that when I press F3, the coordinates of Minecraft don't appear. This is a gaming laptop, I should be able to use all the features I want for gaming, and with all the money I'm paying you for these services, you didn't provide that service. This is unacceptable. I demand some change. Shut up, James. I don't care! Well, that sounds like you, Dell. Please, I am... But uh, even though I hate you, I am one of your biggest customers, so please just do something. Go away! Excuse me, what? Well, that was a very productive trip. Although, I can see that we're at lava level right here. And over here, you can see we're at the bottom of the ravine. So I think it's safe to assume that we are at diamond level, so now we're going to mine for some diamonds. Much, much, much later. I give up. Look how far I've mined. Look how far. This is crazy. I've been mining for like three hours. I've used like six pickaxes, but I haven't found a single diamond. Not one. Ugh. I need a nap. Mining makes you tired. What the? My headphones literally fell off. Whoa, what is this? I finally got 
The diamonds, yo. Yes. Finally. There we go. Now there's room for them. Now, let's go back to our chest to put the diamonds in before anything kills us. Oh, crap. Whoever set up this trap, your mom is a seagull. I hope your mom explodes in a minute and smashes down into a brick hard sea. Mental note, don't let the company class clown be the one to construct sets. Okay, I recovered the majority of my important things. So now it's time to look for some more daemons. Oh no, a creeper, run! Oh, yeah! So you're telling me uh, this is where the ladder was. So you're telling me that if I went one more block down, I would have found diamonds instead of having to go all the way down there. Like I said, guys, always, always dig straight down. You'll get whatever you're looking for. You'll find diamonds like I did. We also need obsidian for another project we're going to do. My pickaxes are all out of durability, so I have to see what else I can do. This is obsidian. It is very difficult to mine. However, I might be able to collect it as an item if it's exploded. Pyrotechnics? All stand clear. Operation beginning. Operation in progress. Operation complete. Did any of it get mined? Triggered. Perfect. Y'all probably wondering, Triple J, what's this? Well, this is a framework for a whole new step in our adventure. When I light it up, we will reach worlds and depths unknown into a deep, dark land filled with fire, rock, fortresses, and dangerous creatures, but also great treasures. This is the Nether. One more thing to do, I promise, just one more thing to do. We shuffle gravel until we find flit. There it is. Then we combine it with iron. No crafting table necessary. And we get a flit and steel. Then we go to die portal and right click. There you go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Here it is. So as you can see, it's not a very pretty place at all. But trust me, we're going to go kick butt while we're here. Oh, look at these weird picky things. Let's try to communicate. Hey. <laughs> You just said my wife left me. Dude, I think he understood us. Let's try to say something else. What do you mean I have five fathers? <laughs> and that raisins are creation of... <laughs> the pee pee poo poo man? Excuse me, Mr. Pig, but I personally don't think 
Rocky Mountain construction sucks, so let's agree to disagree. What do you mean Donald Trump is a great U.S. president? I assure you that, first of all, you... Shut up! Oh god, I had no knowledge of this alliance. I'm so sorry. Hey, uh... Hey, I had no knowledge of this alliance. Glory to our president! While I head back to where I was before, I'd like to show you guys the best way to travel in the nether, where high cliffs and lava oceans are rampant. What you want to do is use oak planks to make bridges. It is very cheap, it is renewable, and it marks a path. Ignore that, that's, that's not a big deal. So be sure to use oak planks in your bridges. That's what I do all the time. Oh wow, it's pretty rocky here, hey. I slow down on the rocks, baby, it's dangerous in there. Jesus fucking my god baby come back to Lord of all the Oh my god baby you are I can't do this anymore dudes The monsters be hating they know like me I can't help you in the nether guys y'all are on your own Oh dear Water See y'all are on your own I can't help you anymore Point proven I can't do no nether no more. All right, that's it for now, y'all. Thank you all so much for watching How to Play Minecraft. It was a unique experience to produce that I've never had before on this channel. I hope you learned many things along the way. Thank you very much for understanding my computer troubles and how this part was very delayed compared to the other two. But it was still a lot of fun to make even though I had to do it twice. I must give a shout out before this video ends to log.zip who made the video that sort of inspired me to write and film these videos. True story, link in the description. And also thank you very much to Nurkturm for writing the royalty free music you have been listening to. Anyways, please ask any questions y'all might have. Don't be shy and be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment for more Minecraft and other content. Lastly, have fun and good luck in your Minecraft adventures. This is James Tune, aka Triple J755. And until next time, peace! Ouch. Wrong outro. Wrong. No! That one! Perfect.